Queensland University of Technology. QUT is a highly successful university in Brisbane, Australia. The university has a global outlook with 42,000 students and an annual budget of more than three quarters of a billion dollars. The campus lies on a bend of the river at the crossroads of the city's downtown and cultural precincts, right next to the state legislature. QUT is a power user of AMX technology in its teaching spaces and was an early adopter of the RMS management system. We've got about $14 million worth of AV equipment at QUT. We use RMS to manage the life of the equipment, lamps, filters, faults, plus all of the controls. We didn't have any room faults that caused us any issues last year. We proactively manage all our spaces and refresh the equipment on a whole of life cycle approach. AMX just guarantees it works, day in and day out. Situated at the heart of the campus is the brand new $230 million Science and Engineering Centre. The building houses 700 researchers and academics, along with lecture halls and student facilities. Just inside the impressive entry doors is a unique piece of audiovisual engineering. It's called the Cube, and there is nothing quite like it anywhere else in the world. My first brief came with a meeting with the Vice Chancellor. His basic vision, uh, which was important for me to know, was that he wanted the building to be a science and engineering outreach to the community. Community outreach is a tough assignment for architecture alone, so Anthony Perrault turned to QUT's own experts, Professor of Interaction Design Jeff Jones and Ian McKinnon, Executive Director of QUT's Institute for Future Environments. Together they defined the kind of interactive AV experience which would draw in visitors. Then they assembled a technical team to bring the project to life. It, we really started with a picture on a napkin, so to speak, and Michael and I were both involved in that very early stage. Uh, the cube really started out as a, a cylinder because the void that we're in today was actually a hole through the building, uh, and we've come such a long way from that. The best way of thinking about the cube is as a giant $3.5 million multiplayer video game, capable of absorbing busloads of school students and switching them on to learning about science and engineering. The cube is actually six separate display zones, totaling 145 megapixels. The largest screen is a spectacular 14 metres long by 9 metres high. These zones are split between edge-blended projected images on top and dozens of interactive multi-touch monitors lower down. The images are real-time animations, created by 30 custom-built servers housed two floors above. Everything is controlled by the AMX ANOVA and Netlinks control infrastructure. Content from the servers is delivered to the projectors and 48 touchscreens via five AMX DGX ANOVA digital media switches and eight kilometers of CAT 6A cable. The bid for the cube was won by Integrator and AMX dealer Pro AV Solutions Queensland. The design and installation process took just on two years and we knew from the start we needed signal transport that would give us flexibility. AMX Anova Digital Media Infrastructure and DX Link were the right products at the right time. Having rock solid interconnections gave us the performance we needed with complex multi touch and edge blending technologies. AMX is proud to be involved in realising this unique vision. Not only is every piece of video and audio routed and transported by AMX and Nova technology, but each and every piece of hardware is monitored and managed over its lifetime by the RMS Enterprise software. It's a place that's going to showcase science and technology. It's a place that's going to inspire people because you can tell by just the people behind us now. I mean, they come around the corner and they go, wow, because it is actually inspiring. There's no doubt about it.